What is up guys, it's your boy Steady Chaos and I wanted to release a relatively quick video to touch on some exciting news that has come out of CES 2021, specifically as it relates to TCL and LG. So the Chinese television company TCL has had a popular line called the 6 Series line of Roku TVs the last couple of years and they've really made inroads into the television market by offering mini LED tech in these TVs. Now they are the first television company to really do so. There haven't really been any other companies, Samsung, Sony, that have offered mini LED tech in their televisions, although that is going to change this year. But TCL and its six series that is coming out in 2021, they have a couple of announcements now. So TCL is rolling out a new six series of TVs, and while you might think it's yet another batch of budget TVs, the entire TCL 2021 lineup will only feature 8K TVs. Now this is specifically pertaining to their 6 series. They're only going to feature 8K TVs. Of course, TCL will have some mid-tier and lower options at 4K resolution, but its high-end 6 series models will be 8K only. So it seems like the years of 4K dominance are coming to an end. 4K is certainly going to be around for many years to come, but when it comes to these television uh, companies and manufacturers providing their premium lines of televisions with cutting edge technology. When it comes to these TVs, they're pretty much all gonna come with 8K resolution now. It's just the way it is. Uh, whether you, you consider it a natural evolution of technology or you consider these companies just trying to push the 8K resolution on the consumer for you know advertising purposes, what, what have you, any new high-end line or premium line of TVs coming out is pretty much gonna be 8K moving forward that's just the way it is so a couple other exciting announcements about the 6 series 8k television it will have a new cpu in it uh an improved ai pq engine to power 8k image upscaling so that's exciting but perhaps the most exciting development is tcl is now going to be on their third generation of mini led technology because they've offered it in the last couple of years on some of their tvs so in this 6 series 8K television, they're going to offer an OD0 mini LED tech. So OD0 kicks things up a notch by packing tens of thousands of mini LEDs to create thousands of contrast control zones. So you go from, when you think about contrast control zones or dimming zones, you think about Samsung, you think about Sony and their high-end models from 2018, 2019, etc. Even this year, 2020. They offer hundreds of zones, maybe 400, 500 zones of local dimming, which is good by maybe last year's standards. But in 2021, that is no longer good enough. And TCL is going to be offering their six series line with thousands of dimming zones, which is, it's gonna be amazing. So OD0 also reduces the distance between the mini LED backlight layer and the LCD display layer to put to zero millimeters that's like nothing like z literally nothing zero millimeters so you get an unbelievably high brightness and deep contrast from an ultra slim display so you're looking at a 65 75 inch offering from tcl and they're known for their value buy or their value proposition so you could be getting a 65 inch uh mini led tv that is an 8k from tcl with this od0 mini led technology with thousands, tens of thousands of mini LED lights and thousands of local dimming and control zones. So you're gonna get blacks that maybe approach rivaling OLED display. You're gonna get maybe 2,500 to 3,000 nits of peak brightness. You're gonna get better screen uniformity. You're gonna get less haloing and blooming. It's going to be, if everything shakes out the way it sounds here on paper, it's going to be an excellent uh, TV with great picture quality, of course. We'll have to see how expensive it is. Like I said, TCL is known for offering budget prices and budget-friendly TVs, but with decent technology built into them. So if they can offer this TV at 65 to 75 inches for somewhere between $1,500 and $2,500, that is going to be killer on the market. We'll have to see how it shakes out. But I definitely wanted to, to get that news out to some of my subscribers because to me that's pretty exciting. And then the second part of this video that I quickly wanted to touch on that is more exciting to me even is in relation to LG OLED. So they are talking about releasing an even smaller OLED panel in 2021 at some point. So in 2019, we had the popular C9 with gamers. That got as low as 55 inches, which is kind of standard for most big screen TVs. 
that was still way too large for most people, especially PC gamers who are sitting two, three, four feet away from their TV. It's too big, uh, it's too bright, probably because you're sitting so close, it takes up too much of your desk. So in 2020, LG attempted to rectify that somewhat, and they, they knew there was a market for a smaller OLED, right? People want these OLED panels for their next-gen consoles, for their RTX 3000 cards. These OLED panels are HDMI 2.1, nothing beats the picture quality of OLED, and there's relatively few, if any, you know, 27 to 32 inch OLED monitors in existence. So people were looking to the to the C10 to offer a smaller variant or smaller size. And LG came through in 2020 with the 48 inch model, which has been one of LG's best selling televisions for 2020 by far, which, you know, like I said, coincided with the release of the PS5, the Xbox Series X. So it was kind of a natural evolution to pair those two things together. The LG C10 is a great television for gaming, HDMI 2.1, 4K 120, uh, G-Sync for the NVIDIA line of GPUs, FreeSync for AMD, it has HDR10, it has Dolby Vision, it has everything you could really ask for in a gaming television, and you could also, like I said, use it as a gaming monitor. But still, there was a segment of the population that wanted something even smaller than 48 inches, and it looks like, and, and I'm included, I'm one of them people, I have the C10 55 inches, um, it looks like LG is going to grant your wish. It looks like they're going to be offering a 42-inch OLED variant at some point in 2021. It's not clear if it's going to be a new line, if it's going to be part of the C1 line, is it going to be the G1 line? But you can see here, LG releases smallest OLED panel yet, heading for your PC soon. So you come down here, LG Display has announced its new range of OLED panels. The big news for PC fans at least, and console fans, is actually the smallest of the new range, a 42 inch panel. It's LG's most compact OLED panel for TVs yet. 42 inches is still probably a little bit large for some people, but considering the only other options right now are 55 inches and 48 inches, it's an improvement and it's a step in the right direction for people that want all the benefits of an OLED panel, but in a smaller form factor. 42 inches is pretty manageable and i'm thinking that maybe next year at some point i may have to i may have to bite the bullet and buy this thing uh maybe sell my 55 inch and use that money to buy a 42 and, you, and i'm hoping because it's going to be a smaller size 42 inches that it'll be maybe a thousand dollars or less you know it'll be a little bit more affordable so this is this is a really exciting news and of course you know 4k resolution at 42 inches that'll offer you a decent pixel density so you'll get more sharpness out of your TV than you say you would get out of a 48 inch or a 55 inch variant. So I wanted to get that news out there to the YouTube community because I haven't really seen anybody else announce this yet or talk about this on YouTube. I haven't seen Vincent talking about it. And I'm telling you right now, this 42 inch variant, OLED variant is going to sell like hotcakes. There are so many people out there that want something that is smaller, that does not take up their entire desk. Uh, that offers a good pixel density or pixel pack that has all the benefits of OLED but is not 48 to 55 inches, which is just gargantuan if you're only sitting three or four feet away from your, your monitor or your TV and using it as a PC monitor. So that is really, really exciting news. Uh, it says, with micro-LED technology very likely years away from mainstream adoption, an affordable OLED option in a slightly more PC-friendly form factor like 42 inches would certainly be welcome. No doubt about that. So that is going to do it for me. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because uh, throughout the course of this week, with more information coming out of CES 2021, I will be sure to continuously update you guys and make more videos and release more information and news as we get it. All right, guys? So we will see you later. Peace.